What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 40 minute arms and abs workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys, I'm so excited that you're here for our 40 minute upper body and abs workout. Following suit with yesterday's workout, we are gonna be doing supersets with a cardio add-on. So we're turning it into circuit style this month, or this week, in our third week of the 30 Day Stronger You Challenge, okay? Using dumbbells today, we're gonna be targeting biceps and triceps, as well as your abs. The dumbbells that I have are 10s, 15s, 20s, and 30s. I'm gonna push up to my 30s for the tricep overhead extension. So I've got both of them, but likely I'll only use one. So make sure you have some weights that you can pull with bicep mo motions and kick back with tricep motions, but also up into that heavier weight for the overhead extensions and the skull crushers, okay? Where we're laying down flat, bending your arms and extending. So at least two options. Also make sure you have water and a sweat towel, which we have restocked. I'm also gonna put a poll down. Look for the first comment in this video asking you guys another way that I could possibly add value to you and your journey just here on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check out the poll and let me know yes or no either way. It's gonna have to do with memberships and live YouTube Q&As monthly. So if you're interested in that, let me know yes or no either way. Look for the first comment in the description of this video or in the comments of this video, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started. Give me a big deep breath and a thumbs up if you are ready. We're gonna start warming up. Going over to the right side, circling your left arm forward in three, two, one, let's go. Hand on your hip. Let's go nine, eight, seven, six, three, two, switch directions, one. Now come over your back. Since your bicep attaches right into your shoulder as well as your tricep, we're gonna get this warmed up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch arms and go forward from your chest to your back. Good, 10, nine, eight, big circle. Three, two, switch directions and here we go forward. 10, nine, eight, Three, two, one, come right to the center. Let's open and cross. Open with your thumbs facing up, cross with your hands facing down. Good job. Your chest is gonna tie into these bicep motions as well. As well as that anterior deltoid at the front of your shoulder. Three, two, one. Now I want you to take your hands Clasp them together and raise them up overhead. You're gonna reach back, bend for 10, nine. Big reach, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Single leg butt kicks right here. Since we have some cardio today, let's get your legs a little bit involved. Nice wide stance. Good job, four. Three, two, now stay right here. Let's bend over, over. Touch, touch. Good job. One leg is straight, one leg is bent. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Come right here in the middle. Let's go touch and squeeze the glutes. Touch, squeeze. Little hamstring stretch, little glute activation. Three, two, and one. Come right here to the center. Let's rotate your core. Twist, twist, twist. Good job. So we've got 30 seconds of work today, 15 seconds rest. All right, let's breathe. Your first move is gonna be just a bicep curl. Coming right here, two dumbbells. Then we're gonna rock into tricep push-ups after your 15 second rest. And then your cardio is gonna be plank pikes. So grab your bicep curl weight that you can do for 30 seconds. And we'll go ahead and get started in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Bicep curls right up to the front and slowly back down. 
We've got three rounds of this circuit. Bicep curl, tricep push up, and plank pikes. Good job. 10 more seconds. Beautiful, let's go four, three, two, one. 15 seconds rest. You're gonna move these guys out of the way. We're down on the floor for tricep push-ups, meaning elbows glide right past the ribs. If you need to go to your knees, you can. If you can go to your toes, let's try a couple reps out here. Two, one, tight belly, tight legs, let's go. 30 seconds. Good, it helps so much when your whole body is tight, I'm telling you. 15 seconds left. Great job. Five, two, one. Beautiful, rest your plank pikes. We're gonna go flat into a plank, pop it up wide into a pike. Back down together, pop out wide, okay? Let's start together, feet in a plank. Three, two, one, hop wide, close, wide, close. Let's go. If you're modifying, step up, step back. Okay, or just give me a little plank jack back here. 15 seconds, good job. A little core in this one as well, right? Four, three, two, one, rest. We're back up to your bicep curls. Can you go up and wait? If yes, let's go. We're going in five. Open your palms up to the front. Three, two, one. Let's exhale as you curl. Gotta have that breathing. There we go. Good job, 10 seconds. Two, one, beautiful. All right, back down, tricep push-ups. If you didn't yet, try a couple on your toes. Remember, tight, 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 tight. Everything is tight here. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's go, squeeze the cheeks, pull the belly button into your spine, and let's do it. Great job, 15 seconds. Seven, six, three, two, one, rest. Whew. Great job. Back to your plank pikes. Starting with your feet back here together, hopping out wide, you ready? Round two, almost done, three, Two, one, hop it up wide, let's go. Out together, out together. Now when you pop back for that plank, make sure you don't let your belly slam down like this. Keep it in that core tight plank position. Plank, plank. Seven, six, come on, three, two, one, rest. All right, last round. I want you to try heavier bicep curls, okay? If you haven't gone up yet, now is your time. Here we go, three seconds. Three, two, last round, let's go. Breathe, come on. Beautiful, 12 more seconds. Two, one, rest, beautiful job. And we're down to our last round of tricep push-ups. So we'll get these guys out of the way before we do all of our other tricep work, right? 
All right, try a couple on your toes. Two, one, let's go. Great job, come on, you can do this. 15 seconds. Five more seconds, come on. Four, three, one more, two, one, rest. Youch! <laughs> All right, last round of your plank pikes, and then we're moving on to hammer curls, a new circuit. Okay, here we go. Five seconds, big deep breath. Three, two, one, let's get it. Good. All right, 15 seconds, speed it up, up, back, up, back. Seven, six, three, two, one, rest. We're going into hammer curls. Hands are facing your thighs. You're going right here, left and then right. Ready, five seconds, grab your dumbbells. Three, two, one. One, let's go. Perfect, core is tight. Make sure you're not using momentum and letting these dumbbells swing. Stop it right at your leg. Here we go. Six, five, get ready for a tricep overhead extension. Three, two, one, great job. Probably a heavier dumbbell. Okay, we're going up overhead. You're holding by just the top part of your dumbbell. Bend and extend. Are you ready? Three seconds. Three, two, one, let's get it. Good, make sure you're not stacking your hands on that dumbbell handle. You're holding it by the top. That way both hands are equally contributing pressure. Six, five, two, one, rest. Beautiful job. Jumping jack, cross punch. Looks like this. One jack, cross punch. One jack, cross punch. My legs are gonna stay apart. Hands go up, cross. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Jack, cross. When you cross over, rotate that hip as well. Good job. Come on. Up, up, cross. Cross. Come on. Seven. That's it. Five, four. Three, two, one, rest, and we're back to hammer curls. You're doing great. If you can go up this round, let's do it. I'm gonna keep you moving today. All right, let's go, guys. Four, three, two, one, hammer curl. Good, feel that bicep shortening and lengthening. Beautiful job. Strong wrist, tight core, full control. That's beautiful, come on, seven, six, come on, you're strong, four, four, three, two, one, awesome job. Back to your overhead extension. See if you can go a little heavier than you did last time. If you're going heavier, take your time. Technique with the heavy weight is more important than Speed, two, one, let's go. Technique is always more important speed than speed. I should make that clear. Good job. Core is tight. Beautiful. Give me 10 more really good seconds. 
Extend, bend and straighten. You've got three, two, one, rest. Perfect. All right, jumping jack, cross. Big deep breath, remember, feet are wide. You're going open, cross it over. Ready? Four, three, let's start with one jumping jack, and here we go, jump. Now the speed at which you move is where you determine your intensity. That's where you determine how much are you gonna get out of this workout. Speed here, heavy weights on the strength, and we're crushing it together. 13 seconds, come on. Seven, six, four, three, two, one. Come on, last round, hammer curls. What do you got left in your biceps for this round? All right, here we go, big deep breath. Let's start with that left hand in three, two, one, let's go. Perfect. Elbows are close by your side. You're just bending. Don't think that you have to end up all the way up here with your arm resting. Okay, just bring it to while you're curled, right back down. Beautiful, you got three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Last round of your overhead tricep extension. What do you got left here? Can you go a little heavier than you did last round? Let's try it. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's get it, tight core, bend, extend. Good job. That's it, eight seconds, come on. Four, three, one more, two, one, rest. Ah, good work. All right, I'm really pushing that one. Let's go last round, jumping jack, cross punch. You doing all right? Let's go a little bit more intense here, okay? Quick hands, cross, go. In three, two, one, let's go. Boom. There you go, in and out, quick. Touch, punch, touch, punch. There we go, 15 seconds. Cross it over, use the core. Come on, five more seconds. Let's go, four, three, two, one, and rest. Grab some water, we're moving into two single arm curls, and then switch, okay? So you've got curl pulse, one, two, one, two. All right, let's start in three, two, one. Here we go. Keep that wrist pulled, pulse it in the middle, one, two. One, two. So this is gonna be probably a little heavier. Good, keep your chest back, keep your elbow right at your side. Five, four, three, two, one. Tricep kickbacks. You've got two kickbacks and switch. Lighter weights, so you're going one, Two, switch. One, two. All right. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's go. Hinge it forward. Get your arm to that straight extension. Don't worry about your wrist. You don't have to flex your wrist. Just get that pinky and your arm extended. Neutral spine, so you're looking about 12 inches in front of your toes. Good job. You got 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. We're gonna start down at the right end of our mat, okay? So come down here and start with me. Watch real quick, we'll go in 10 seconds. High knees to the right, or to the left. High knees back down, one burpee. Okay, so high knees down and back, one burpee right here. Ready, let's go. Down to the end, go back. Get there, turn, burpee.
Good job. 13, 12. Move those feet quickly, quickly, quickly. Eight, seven. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Good. All right. We're back. Bicep curl pulses times two. All right, here we go. Five seconds. Remember, we're going one, two, and switch. Ready? Let's go. Good. Great job. Strong wrist. You got 15 seconds. That's it. Seven, six. Pulse. Pulse. Two, one. Rest. Good. Tricep kickbacks. You're doing great. Push through this arm burn. I know you might be tired. You might be breathing heavy. You're doing great. Keep your mind positive. Keep cheering yourself on. Here we go. Hinge it forward. Elbows up. Two, one. Let's go. Two on the right. Two on the left. Good. Push it back. Back. Great job. Ten more seconds. You're doing great. Five, four. Big deep breath. Three, two, one. Rest. Perfect. High knees down and back. You're doing good. Feeling good? Woo! All right. Five seconds. High knees, lateral, up and back. One burpee here. Ready? Let's go. Work the arms as well. Don't cross your feet. Turn, burpee. There you go, come on. 10, nine. Five, four, two, one, rest. Last round. Bicep curl pulses. Grab a quick drink if you know the weight you're using. Let's go in five. Three, two, one. Here we go. Curl, pulse it twice. Beautiful. Breathe. There you go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Yes, perfect. Two tricep kickbacks left and then two on the right. Fantastic job. You're doing great. All right, hinge it forward. You got four, three, elbows up. Two, one, let's go. Full extension, I need that squeeze. I want you to feel these muscles burning, getting stronger in the back of your arms. Don't swing, freeze that squeeze. There you go. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Last round, high knees and burpees, and then we're gonna get a little bit longer rest because we're officially over halfway done. I'm gonna get you some water. We're gonna keep pumping those heavy weights, okay? Here we go, high knees, burpee, last round. Two, one, let's get it. Turn, burpee. Or if you have room to just do your burpee straight back, you put your hands here. You can do that too. Push, 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 push. 15. See if we can get three more. Seven, whoops, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. You've got one minute rest. Grab some water. I'll show you your next circuit. We're over halfway home. So we've completed nine 
out of 16 exercises. All right, we've got one more bicep tricep combo and then we're gonna move into abs and cardio, okay? So your last bicep and tricep combo, kneeling double hammer curls and a slanted skull crusher. Okay, so you're gonna probably need different weights for that. Skull crusher is gonna be a little heavier. Okay, here's what your kneeling hammer curls look like. Starting off facing your legs, coming up, rotate your pinkies towards your shoulders. Okay, we're gonna start right here in nine seconds. So grab those bicep curl weights. Let's go in five, four, rotate your pinkies up to the middle, two, one, let's go. You're here, turn it in. A little extra turn, strong wrist as you turn. Good job, 10, nine, there you go, turn it in, come on. Seven, six, three, two, one, perfect. Lay it flat on your back, skull crusher. So we're putting that dumbbell right over your chest. Okay, we're coming back here. You're gonna bend and push. All right, five seconds, grab that weight that you're wanting to use. We'll go in two, one, push it back just a little. Bend, extend, let's go. Strong wrists. 10 seconds. Five, four, two, one, rest. Your cardio here. Switch jumps, we haven't done these in a while. Okay, starting in a plank position, you're gonna cop one, two, switch, one, two. If you need to modify, step up, bounce, bounce. Okay, ready, let's go. Two times here, hop, switch, one, two, one, two. Quicker if you can. 13, 12. Six, five. Come on, three, two, one, rest. Now you're on the ground already, so we're right back into your hammer curls with that supination. So you're here, turn your pinkies in. So they're facing the middle, okay? Let's go in three, two, one, here we go. Breathe. Are you pushing the weights that are challenging you right now? I hope yes, I hope the answer is absolutely. Two, one, rest. Good, slanted skull crushers. Lay it on back. Remember, same thing here, weight that challenges you. Lay it back, throw it right over your chest. We're gonna slant it in three, two, one, let's go. Keep breathing, come on, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Whew. Switch jumps, here we go. <sighs> Hard to roll that guy off of you. <laughs> All right, seven seconds. Roll your wrists out if you need to. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, and switch. Tight core will help you move a little quicker. Belly button to the spine. Go, 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 go. Ten, nine. Come on. Three, two, one, rest. 
All right, guys, we're at the last round of all three. Definitely push those weights heavier if you know or you think you can. I know you can. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Great job, come on. Pull, rotate. That's it, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Whew. Okay, I'll put those back in a second. Last round of your skull crushers. Grab that heavy dumbbell. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's go, slant it, bend. It's okay if your lower back is not touching the ground on this one. You're not doing anything with your abs, so it's okay. You got seven seconds, come on. Three, two, one, rest. Whew. Last round of switch jumps. Flip it on over, I know I've got all my dumbbells out right now. <laughs> totally fine, five seconds. Last round of switch jumps, ready? Two, one, let's go. One, two, switch. Remember, tight core helps you go quicker. One, two, one, two. Good job, come on. Eight, seven. Four, three, two, one. Flip right over onto your left elbow. Right here. Side plank. We're going clam shells, okay? Or clam closers, whatever you want to call them. Side plank right here. Closing down, opening back up. Two, one, let's go. Beautiful, we're rocking into the abs now. We've hit cardio, we've hit upper body really good. Let's close it out, burn it out with our core for about five minutes here. Beautiful job, come on. Seven, six, get ready to switch to the other side. In three, two, one, switch over, opposite elbow. If you need to, double your mat up or get a um, towel or a pillow, that's okay. I get the bony elbows. <laughs> Here we go, side plank, two, one, roll it up, curl down, squeeze your core, open it back up. I like to try and get elbow to elbow. Great job. 10 more seconds. Six, five, Three, two, one. Now flip over onto your butt. Bring your heels off the ground. We're still using those elbows. We're here. Open, close. Open, close. Looking back towards your elbow and bringing it back to the middle. In three, two, one. Let's go. Try not to move your legs. I know it's easy to kind of turn and turn, right? Keep your legs right in the middle. Perfect, 10, nine. Three, two, one, rest. Same position now. We're gonna open both elbows up at the same time. We're gonna stay facing forward. So you're here, hips rolled back, elbows are here. Open, close, open, close. Okay, three, two, one. All right, let's go. And if you open and you can sit up a little bit and then close, pull it back, that's fine too. If you need to modify, heels are down. 
you're still leaning back. Good job. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, good. Four, three, two, one, rest. Sit up and single leg twist. Lay it down flat for me. You're gonna come up to a sit up, turn over to the opposite leg, come back down. Left leg only for the first round. Let's go in three, two, one, here we go. If you need some assistance, you can reach overhead, give it a little swing and then hug your knee. seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Same thing, going to the other direction. Whew, 15 seconds rest. I'm going to throw this back here so I don't slide so much. All right, here we go. Five seconds. Two, one, let's go. Come all the way up seated, so make sure you're not just crunching and staying on the ground. Come all the way up, then turn. Breathe out as you sit up. Beautiful job, 10, nine, four, three, two, one, rest. Roll it over onto your right hip for me. All right, this one's called Mermaid Flutter. So you can either lay flat on your arm here, or you can lay on your elbow. Legs are like a mermaid. You're here, here, crunching your obliques. Okay, here we go. Two, one, crunch, crunch. Don't let your mermaid tail open so you're not here, okay? If you need to modify, bent leg mermaid. Good, 15 more seconds. Whew. 10, nine, eight, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah. Other side, mermaid tail flutter. Let's go, last 30 seconds of your workout right here. Are you with me? Five seconds, bent leg mermaid or straight leg mermaid. Hand is up. Let's go, two, one, pull, pull. Great job. That's it. 15 more seconds. Keep the tail closed. Open, crunch, crunch, crunch. You've got 10, nine. Come on, mermaid tail, stay together. Go for five, four, three, two, one. And rest. All right, roll it on over onto your hands and knees and drop back into your hips, straightening your arms out front. Thumbs are facing the ceiling and drop your shoulders down towards the floor. <sighs> Guys, we made it. Amazing, amazing job. Whew. Take your left arm, sweep it out to the side and then go back. <sighs> Good, switch arms. Take your right arm, sweep it out to the side and take it back behind you. Good, come on up, have a seat on your knees, around your calves, hands are behind you. I want you to place the palms of your hand on the floor. Lift your chest and your chin and open your shoulders up, nice and big as you pull your shoulder blades back. <sighs> open your chin if you can. And pull it back in. Take your arms up overhead and let's bend the left arm and pull it over towards the right side. Guys, amazing job today. Hope you feel as good as I do right now. Arms are burning, abs are on fire from those mermaid tail flutters. Let's switch arms. Straighten the other arm, bend it, grab the elbow and pull. There you go. So we hit all of our core muscles on that ab finisher. 
we had the transverse abdominis, the deep core muscles, when we did your sit up and twist. We had our obliques on the mermaid flutter and on the side plank open ups. Those are also using transverse abdominis and our rectus abdominis on those sit ups as well. Pull your fingertips back towards your elbow. Let's stretch out your forearms. I know you were holding those weights for a long time. By the way, if this sitting, uh, seated position isn't comfortable, you can stand up. Some people don't feel comfortable with their knees or their ankles in this position. Okay, flip your hand over to face you and let's pull it back. So now we're stretching these top muscles on your arms. Okay. Great job, you'll probably feel it mostly right up here, right? I know I do too. And when you flip it over this way, you're gonna hit these forearm muscles on the internal side. Let's switch hands, pull your fingertips back towards your elbow. I know my elbows are hyperextending, so try to ignore that if it grosses you out. Grosses Dustin out. He's always like, stop, stop. <laughs> like, I can't help it. Anyone else double jointed? I can't help it, this is just what happens. All right, flip your hand over, pull it back. Oh, this one feels really good. Okay, keep pulling as you stand up. Don't forget to check out that poll in the comments below. I wanna know your opinion. I wanna know if it's worth the time that I wanna put in to give you guys a little bit more access to me. A lot of people don't have Facebook. Bring your fingers here and open. A lot of people don't have Facebook. And for the Sydney Squad, one of the many, many features that we have in that Sydney Squad is a live interaction with myself. And I definitely can't give as much value on YouTube as I can give in the Sydney squad. Big deep breath, time is out. Okay, we finished it, we made it. I can't give as much value here on YouTube as I can in the Sydney squad. There's just so much more information, so much more content, so much more of a community engagement. But if I can help you out here with two live Q and A's per month, let me know in the poll in the comments below if that would benefit you or if you're even interested. If you're not really interested, just click no. Just be very honest with me. I wanna see if it will be worth it. If the community here on YouTube would love that, of course, I'm more than willing to give up some time for that. I suggest if you're looking for more access to me to definitely check out the Sydney Squad. Like I said, there's so much more content there, so much more of a community support system, so much more access to myself there. But if you don't have Facebook, this would probably be my second best option to give you guys a little bit more access to myself and just mainly help you in more ways than just standing here on the mat and sweating with you, okay? There's so much more to the journey than this, as you know. So if you would be interested, let me know. I would love to help you out there and definitely check out everything that's going on in the description below. I've got a Fitcation workout coming up very soon, October 6th here in Charlotte. You can grab your ticket in the description below. I would love to have you here and work out with you in person, give you sweaty hugs in person. So if that interests you, please come and join me. Hey guys, I'm so proud of you. I will see you back here tomorrow. Make sure you comment below that you crushed it and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I love you and I'll be back here with your workout tomorrow. Bye guys.